Hey everyone, Skinner here. This video will be covering how damage is calculated on the attacker side and resistance on the defender side to get the final amount of damage dealt in deadlock. We have a large community of people rigorously testing the game and submitting many bug reports as a result as we update deadlocked.wiki. Too many people for me to shout out in this video. I worked with a lot of people and updated the wiki page for how resistance and minus res interact. This video is as of the current alpha build on September 21st, 2024, and anything can be changed by a valve. I will be covering the fundamentals of how the formulas work, which should not change while items, characters, and abilities are likely to change and do change with every batch. First, we will cover bullet damage and melee damage, and how additional weapon damage interacts with it to generate the attacker side calculation. Then we will talk about bullet shield and bullet resist interacting and how debuffs to resistance work in the calculation for the defender side. Then we will talk about how spirit works with abilities to generate their damage instance. Without further ado, let's get into it. So your weapon has a base damage. This base damage scales with the growth stat at these specific soul breakpoints as indicated on this chart. For example, the first one at 1.2k souls, the next at 2.2, and so on and so forth. The flat 1.1 base bullet damage that Viscous gets, for example, will increase his base to get the new base number that is then scaled by your percent weapon damage. All sources of weapon damage are additive to give you one final multiplier to the base damage. So, for example, if, if this is doing, you know, 24, 25, and we have our glass cannon, which is going to be a scaling it by, you know, 88%, and you see it's, it, it gets scaled. Let's add another 6%, and you're not going to notice much of a, of a difference, if, if much at all. Maybe, maybe one singular number, because it's just adding to the other number that's already there to give you your total number, which is your just percent weapon damage. The reason why I'm using this as an example of the 6% weapon damage is because that headshot booster gives 6% weapon damage, so this keeps the test constant. You will now see that the 48 damage went, 48 damage went to 88 damage as it added simply the flat 40 damage bonus, uh, because the flat 40 damage headshot bonus is not scaled by your weapon damage. So this is how we are simply generating the, the damage instance of the projectile leaving the weapon. You have your, your base plus your growth to get your new base damage, then multiplied by your percent weapon damage, and then you add any bonus damage, such as headshot booster or uh, headhunter. That does not mean that it's the only way to scale those bonus damages as we get to the defender's side of the calculation. So obviously resistances can reduce the damage dealt. So let's actually talk about that formula because this is the important thing, the thing that a lot of people do not get. So I'm going to flashbang you. I'm so sorry. but. Each source of resistance is going to multiply with the other ones to get you your, your, your total amount. So you can say this has diminishing returns compared to additive, but that's because additive resistance ends up giving you um, kind of insane, almost exponential scaling. Uh, so if you have 60% bullet resist and you get another 40%, you're going to get a resultant of 76%, which is... 40% more bullet resist than 60%. And it follows this very simple formula. Now, how do the negative resistances work? So you, you take that total sum of how you're getting your resistances. This is your positive resistance portion of the equation. And then you do that same formula for the minus resistance. And you can see an example here that we have mapped out for you which you get that, that sum of positive, you get the sum of the negative, 
and you subtract the two, that difference gives you the net resistance. Net resistance is how much the percentage damage reduction or damage increase is resulting on the defender side of the calculation. So as you can see, 30% resist is going to simply reduce that damage by you know, a multiplier of 1.3, so 70% damage of the weapon or ability. And a negative 30, you're going to increase by 1.3. Right, and you're going to do more damage. And that is the only way that you're going to be able to scale your uh, headshot booster, for example. All right, so if this is a little complicated, sure, what you need to understand is that if you ha already had uh, a 70% and you get another 20%, your number is going to look like 76%. That is actually 20% uh, more resistance. Of, of the effective damage that you are taking at that point. So uh, do keep that in mind. You're not getting scammed when you see the number only go up by a little bit. It does exactly what it says it does. Uh, for example, if 70 and 20 added together uh, and you got 90, that would be uh, multiple times uh, of how much damage reduction you would get, right? Just going from 80 to 90 halves how much damage you take right, of the effective damage pool. So they solve that problem with making it all multiplicative. This is a good solution by Valve. And this is how uh, resistance and minus res work. So there you go. This will clear up a lot of confusion people have about it. Now uh, let's, let's talk back about uh, spirit. So Spirit does not give you percent scaling unless a specific ability says it does. What you will find is that you can hold alt on an ability and it will give you its spirit ratio. For example, here you can see that this has a 1.5 spirit ratio on splatter. What that means is that if I were to hit and it did 100 damage and then I wanted to get, uh, let's see, a huge amount of spirit, which would be 76, and I turn the cooldown off, you will see that the added damage, 76 times 1.5, is added to that spell. You're not going to get percent scaling on your spirit. You're going to add additional amounts to that base ability. Unless an ability says otherwise. But for 99% of interactions, this is how spirit works, is that every single ability is going to have a set spirit ratio and it will show you how much it is adding with your current spirit. Some things you would think might have a spirit ratio but do not. Mystic Burst, the 500 cost for example, is just going to add that it's 35 flat. That does not have a spirit ratio on it. But Spirit Strike has a spirit ratio, so you can see, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna do 80, 80, 84 damage, right? But it's gonna start out at 50. And you don't, they hide the spirit ratio on some of these items, and I would like them to fix this. Please, when I hold Alt, show me the spirit ratio, so that I don't have to do math of looking that I have eight spirit, and that eight spirit is giving me three damage and having to reverse engineer it. Okay, so that is how the damage instances work. You generate the instance, whether it be a projectile from a weapon or a skill shot from an ability. That instance is then traveling in the air. When it hits an enemy, then the defender side calculation occurs. Now, I did mention that we would talk about barriers. For example, the spirit shield and the bullet shield. These have no resistance applied to them, as in uh, if you had 50 spirit resist, it would not apply to the spirit shield health, and uh, you, it just reduces the incoming damage by 300 until it breaks, and then your health will take over the rest, and your percent resistance will apply. 
Uh, same thing for, for um, bullets. If you are against an enemy who is stacking a ton of minus resistance, shields are better because they are not affected by the minus resistance. You're not going to get take multiplicatively more damage. All right, that's it. I'm Skinner. I hope you understand how damage calculation works a bit better. You'll notice I didn't mention uh, Spirit Amp, um, like Soul Shredder bullets, with their 10%. Uh, that is because there are some active bug reports involving Spirit Amp. Uh, it is a percent increase to how much uh, your your spirit damage works and there may be some specific characters or items or abilities that are not working properly with uh, spirit amp and other things so when that is corrected and we have I, I have the formula that it is currently doing uh, with certain interactions it just shouldn't be doing that it can be doing more than it's supposed to or less than it is supposed to and uh, Fab will fix it and then we'll we'll have it in the in the future videos so thumbs up oh uh, melee damage yeah so melee damage works exactly the same as uh, bullet damage melee is scaled by percent weapon scaling but it is also scaled by your percent a melee bonus to make just the same multiplier so you take your weapon percent and melee damage percent add it to just one single multiplier and it's multiplied by your base melee damage i almost forgot thumbs up you have a good day i'm skinner peace out